after namin sa church, kumain din kami sa isang restaurant. Unlike earlier, mas tight yung topic ng usapan namin. It's a wonderful feeling that we sometimes laugh during our conversation. Nung pa-uwi na kami, biglang lumakas ang unhan. Na-traffic pa kami kaya halos 11pm na kami nakauwi sa bahay. Wala rin kaming bayang kaya medyo nabasanin kami. Halos tahimik ang buong bahay pagpasok namin. Si Manang Susan ang sumalubong sa amin. Diyos ko ba sana kayo? Hala akit na kayo para makapagbihis. Hangos niya sa amin. Kagat labi ako napatingin kay Jordan. Alam niya rin nahiya ako ng konti dahil wala naman siyang dalang damit para palitan niya medyo masani ang damit. Uuwi na lang. Stay. The rain is still strong. Hihintayin mo na lang tumila. Nahiya akong saan sa kanya. Narahan siyang tumangon sa akin bilang pagsangayon sa suhestyon ko. Tulog po ba si Stream Manang? I ask Manang Susan again. Oo. Kasama na tutulog ng mama at papa mo. Bibong-bibong anak mo kaya agad napagod kaya ayun. Bagsak na kaagad. Masayang informa niya sa amin. Ganun po ba? Hindi ko na siya pupuntahan para hindi sila magising. Sabi ko. Una na po kami. Sabi ko at saka binalingan si Jordan para sa inyo saan siyang sumunod sa akin. We talked upstairs to my room. I'm still uneasy as if this is my first time bringing a guy to my room. He is my ex-husband for Pete's sake. And before he became my husband, he's already been here. So why nervous all of a sudden? Kinakaman siguro ko na naramdaman ko nang nagiinit ang katawan ko ngayon. Lalo pat nasa likod ko lamang siya. Ramdam na ramdam ko ang presensya niya sa likuran ko. I kept biting my lip kanina pa. Habarin mo munang damit mo. Muntik pa pa ako matumba pagharap ko sa kanya. Buti na lang mabilis sa reflexes niya at tahigit ako at pabalik sa kanya. My heart instantly raised fast when my palm touched his broad chest. I could feel the hardness even he is still fully clothed. Um, kukuha lang kita ng damit ni kuya. Sabi ko tabay tulak sa kanya na hindi man kalakasan. Hindi ko na siya inintipang sumagot at kumaripas na kapalabas ng kwarto. Nang masara kong pinto, sinundig ko muna ang likod ko doon at tinawakan ang puso ko dahil parang atakin ako sa lakas ng tumbol noon. Akala ko tapos ng pagwala ng puso ko pero umbisa pa lang pala iyon dahil mas naging triple pa yung binas ng tipok ng puso ko. Daig ko pa yung nagmaraton. Why wouldn't he be? The moment I opened the door, I was thrown in my place and I quickly gulped violently at the goldy side of this man. His well-scalped abs were vividly visible right now. Kahit sa ilang babaeng makakita, magpapatulong laway sa katawang meron siya. Bumaba ang tingin ko sa V-shape ng hips. Oh God! Matutuyon niya ata ko ng tubig sa lalumunan ko. The corner of his lips rose to smirk. A playful smirk that is so enticing. Even aside from his mouth, watering body. Um, here is your shirt. Really, Layla ni? Why stomach? Hindi siya kumilos. Natigil lang siya sa pesto niya at mataman akong tinitingnan. He is just waiting for me there. What the? Ah, uh, I said this is your shirt. Ulit ko pa. Come to me, baby. He seductively said. It sent shivers to my heart. Oh my, what are you doing to me, Jordan? Impit ako na palapit sa kanya. Nagilid ang pisngi ko. Habang palapit na palapit ako sa kanya. I extended my hand to give him what I'm holding. To my surprise, it is not the shirt he grabbed. It was my wrist and pulled me towards him. I jerked up to different kind of tickling sensation when he placed his other hand on my wrist, gaping me to the extent that I could not escape from him while the other is capping my face, then caressed it using his thumb as he intensely stared at my face. I gulped. Unti-unti niya nilalapit ang mukha niya sa akin. Should I push him? My mind says yes, but I couldn't dare to move my hands. They said our brain controls our body, but why can't it today? Hindi niya napapasunod ang katawan ko sa gusto ko. Nagkaroon bigla ng sariling pag-iisip ang ibabang parte ng dahilan para magrebelde sila. We went to heaven together and it was a rare moment. After noon, humiling ako sa matipuno niyang dip-dip. Pagod ipinikit ang mga mata. Pagod na pagod ako sa ginawa namin. You were great, baby, and I love you. I heard him say before I dozed to sleep. I even felt him kiss my temple, and that is so sweet of him. Christmas is the time of the year when you cherishly get together to spend time with the family. For almost six years, it was me and Stream who celebrates Christmas and New Year. My time na lumipad si Aileen at Abby para samahan kami ipagdiwang Pasko at bagong taon. Speaking of Abby, I still haven't moved on her shock face when Aileen and I said surprised her in her condo. Muntikan pa kaming masaksihan ang scene nila ni Xavier. Pinagbumaram nga ako dahil ilang araw na ako nasa Manila. Pero di ba lang ako nagpapakita kaya binatukan siya ni Aileen para sabihin sa niya na nga, surprise nga kasi. I am more than happy that she's finally setting down with the man she loves. They're both a blessing to each other. Kung swerte si Abby na may Xavier siya, swerte din si Xavier dahil may Abby siya. I invited Aileen to celebrate Christmas with us. Magsasola na naman kasi yun eh. Sabi niya darating siya kaya iintayin ko siya. Mommy, maraming gifts akong bubuksan mamaya. Mommy la and Daddy Lucid, I have a lot of gifts to open later. 
Sabik na sabik na kwento ni Stream sa akin. Kaya don't forget to say thank you, alright? I reminded her. Yes po, sagot niya. Is daddy coming too, mommy? She asked. Tumangu ako. He will, baby? Sagot sabay hagod ng mukha niya. Okay, mommy. Tili niya. Punta lang po ako kay mommy la. Baka miss niya na ako. Paalam niya. I nodded my head to motion her to go. For sure, iiyak siya kapag bumalik na kami ng ilo-ilo. Dumating na si Aileen at ngayon nagbabangay na naman sila ni kuya. At least, pinapansin ako ng pamilya ko. Asik niya. I was baffled at what my mother had said. Aileen, eyes build too. Mas kasi kuya yung napansin na below the belt yung sinabi niya. Family topic is very sensitive to Aileen. E di ikaw nang pinagpara sa pamilya. Pabirong laban niya kay kuya na may kasamang irap pa. I could feel the tension between us. Tumayo si kuya at umalis. Ninang pretty, wala mo tong Santa hat. Bagay po sa inyo. Stream approached her. Lumambot ang mukha niya sa paglapit ng anak ko. Kinuha niya yung inaabot na stream at sinuot niya iyon. Wow, Ninang pretty, ang ganda nga na niyo na po. Diba, Tito Pogi? Saan niya? Napabalikwas ako ng lingon dahil sa sinabi ni Stream. Bumalik pala siya at may bitbit na ngayong isang kopita ng alak. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, baby Stream. Saan niya? What a constructive response. Napailing na lamang ako. Di naman sinagot tanong ko, Tito Pogi eh. Bagay kayo. Ikaw, Tito Pogi ko. Siya po, Ninang Pretty ko. Pogi at kwapo. Pagtatambal ni Stream kaya natawa ako. Ay, hindi ako pumupatol sa chonggo. Patutsada ni Aileen. Hindi rin ako pumupatol sa arawana. My brother fired back. Here we go again. But this is way lighter than earlier. Hala, ang pangat yung kabonding. Sabi niya sabay walk out. Pare-parehas umawang ang bibig namin sa sinabi niya. Nagkatingin pa kami ni Aileen sa pagkamangha. Sabay kaming napahalakak ni Aileen pagkatapos. Pati si kuya nakisali na rin. Sa naman niya natutunan yun? Then when a pive at my head to look at my brother, he immediately averted his case as if he is guilty of treason. Kuya? Sigaw ko pero again, kumari pa siya ng lakas, palayo, para hindi ko siya mapalo. Mommy, wala pa po si daddy? Malungkot na tanong sa akin, stream. Kanina pa ako nagsasagot ng pareho niyang tanong. Kanina pa rin ako hindi mapakali, especially ng aksidente kong mabasag, ang hinuhugasan kong baso. Ayokong bigyang kahulugan ng mga masasamang bagay na naiisip ko. Ayos lang siya. Walang mangyayaring masama. Nag-squat ako para pantayan siya. I raised both my hands then cupped her face and slowly bring her head to my lips. Daddy is coming. Baka na traffic lang siya. Sabi ko para di na siya magtanong. You know mommy, I had a bad dream last night that daddy left us. Masuyo niyang kwento. Tinubuan ako ng kaba ulit. Pinapatay ko na yun kanina pa sa isip ko pero sa sinabi ni Stream parang magwawala ng puso ko sa kaba at pag-aalala. Anong sabi ni mommy sa dreams? Hindi po sila totoo. That's right. They were just dreams. Nasa isip lang natin sila. Darating si daddy, okay? Suyo ko. She nodded her head to me. Darating siya, anak. Riley is not answering his phone too, Eileen said. Halos lahat kami hindi na mapakali. Nag-aalala ko sa kanya. His phone is off too. Pearl said he left early at the house to come here kasi yun ang paalam ni Jordan sa kanila. Anon siya ni mommy. I panicked more at what my mother said. I bit my lower lip because of overthinking. My hands began shaking too. I'm going out. I will look for him. My brother suggested. Naluluha akong tumingin kay kuya. Lumapit siya sa akin at tinila ako palapit sa kanya para yakapin. Good thing stream is up sleep now. Hindi niya ako makikitang bumigay sa pag-aanala sa ama niya. When I woke up beside a handsome and muscular man, I blushed the moment I remember what had happened last night. It was a steamy and fiery night. Gumalaw niya ng kaunti kaya napayuko ako. Baka kasi mabungaran niya akong nakamasid ako sa kanya. Tanging kumot na nakitakip sa mga katawan namin at ang sikat ng araw tumagos sa kortina ng kwarto ko tumatama sa katawan namin ngayon. Good morning, baby. I heard him say, reason why I blushed again. Good morning. I stammered. Oh God, how are you? Did it still hurt? He asked, referring what's in between my thighs. A little but bearable, I awkwardly answered. Sorry for hurting you again. I told you I wouldn't hurt you again but I did. I'm sorry, baby. Bulong niya sabay yapos sa akin na mahigpit. Naramdaman ko pang pagdampi ng labi niya sa ulo ko. It's okay. I permitted you to do it. I bounced back. God, I love your morning scent, babe. I wish I could savor the smell for the rest of our lives. He softly whispered. I kept backing back and forth, waiting for my brother's message. Pati sila papa at mama nagkukontakt na rin kung sino-sino para mahanap si Jordan. I glanced at the wall clock and it's past 2 o'clock in the morning. And he still is not here, nor we are aware to where he is right now. 
He made everyone worried about it, and it, it is Christmas Day. Calm yourself, Lay. Let's just pray, okay? Eileen caressed my back to lessen my anxiousness. I will not calm down, not until I see him safe and sound. I am afraid that if something bad happened to him, it would be too late for us to start a new life together. Build a family again like he promised me that night in the church. I will. Kapag nakita ko na siya, I broke down. He will, Lay. Just have faith. She said while hugging me from the side. Moments later, my phone beeped. I did not waste any more time. I quickly went to where my phone is and pick it up to answer it. Kuya, garalgal ang boses ko na. I found him. I should be relieved now, but why do I feel that I should be more nervous with the bitch that my brother used when saying it? He's okay, right, kuya? I cried. Lumapit sa akin si Aileen. Hinagod ng likod ko. Mom and Dad also came to me, consoling me like Aileen is doing. Mas lalo pa lumaki ang mga patak ng luhang tumulo sa pisi ko sa sunod niyang sinabi. My world crashed in split second. He is gone, Lay. It was almost a whisper, but too clear for me to understand the sentence. What do you mean? I asked, trembling with fear. Fear of my thoughts that might turn to reality. He had an accident and they did everything to save him, but he is dead on arrival. He explained that break me into pieces. No, no, no. Nabitawan ko ang cellphone ko dahil kusa nilang bumagsak ang katawan ko sa panghihina sa narinig na masamang balita. Lay, napaupo na rin si Aileen dahil sa akin. Anak, what happened? My mom asked. Me, si Jordan po. I could not utter the word because I'm still not processing it. Ayoko dahil panaginip lang to. We still have a lot to talk to kaya hindi pwedeng walaan na siya. Gago ka, Jordan. Gago ka. Sabi mo, papakasan mo pa ako. Akala ko ba hindi mo na ako sasaktan? So ano to? Mas masakit pa ito sa nangyari noon. Hindi ko kaya at hindi ko kakayanin. Please, baby, come home. To me and to our daughter. When we are young and foolish, we always daydream of a happy ending. Marry the most handsome man in your eyes. Have a family with him and share love until you are gay. When I thought of it, I just could not prevent myself from getting tear up. Marami pa akong bagay na gustong sabihin, gawin, at iparamdam sa kanya pero agad siyang kinuha sa akin. So how am I going to do that? Pinagkaitan ako ng tadhana makabawi sa kanya. Fate always deprive us for the chance to be with each other for a longer time. Gusto ko ako naman ang guguhit ng tadhana ako. Ako at siya hanggang dulo. Pepper, come here. Tawag ni Stream sa asong bigay ni Riley sa kanya. The cute shih tzu excitedly came running to her. Agad siyang tumihay na para ba nagpapakamat siya na nag-aalaga sa kanya. Stream, let's go. Your daddy is waiting for us na. I extended my hand for her to hold it. Okay, mommy. Let me just carry Pepper. I want to introduce Pepper to him. Sagot niya. Hinaragan niyang asa at saka lumapit sa kanya. The more she grows up, the more that she looks like her father. Napaiwas ako again ng tingin sa kanya dahil nangingilid na naman ang aking mga luha. Napakagago mo talaga, Jordan. Madaya ka. I couldn't bear to read what's written on his epitaph. The wound is still fresh and flaky. Daddy, this is Pepper. I named her because you don't like Pepper, di ba? Kapag may naamoy kang Pepper, you sneeze. Kaya, sneeze ka na, Daddy, para buhay ka ulit. Saan ni Stream sa harap ng puntod ng Daddy niya? Pagkagilid ko ng ulo ko, agad kong pinunasan ng mga luhang, tuloy nang bumagsak. Mas dalo ko nalungkot kapag nakikita kong anak ko nagdarasal na mabuhay ang ama niya. After Jordan's funeral, bumalik kami ni Stream sa Iloilo. Ayon nila mommy pero nagpumilit ako. Masyado maraming alaala kami sa Manila at ang sakit sa puso maalala. Lahat ng iyon. Kaya may nabuti kong doon na lang. Pero yun ang akala ko dahil sa bawat surok ng bahay, naamoy ko siya at naalala ko. Bumalik lang kami ngayon dahil gusto namin siyang dalawin ni Stream. I took one week leave to stay in Manila and it's been three months after he had an accident that took his life forever. Daddy, balik ka na po. Hindi na po ako magdadaldal masyado. I will talk if needed lang po. Saan niya pa? Steam, your dad likes your talkativeness. Di ba nga sabi niya lagi na papasay mo siya kasi you tell stories about your day every day? I told Stream. She melancholically nodded her head to agree. Inila ko siya at niyakap. I want to see my daddy, mommy. I miss him so much. Masuyo niyang wika ulit. I miss him too, sweetie. I miss him so much. My last phrase is almost a whisper while I look up in the sky. The wind blew so hard that as if it's listening to our pleas and cries. Para bang pinaparamdam niya sa aming nandito siya sa tabi namin at nagmamatsyag. Anak, ayaw mo ba talagang dito na lang magtrabaho? Hagod ni mommy sa akin. Doon ang buhay namin ni Stream Me. Masuyo kong sagot. I saw her release a sigh. I just wanted to be near you. Given what happened today, she stopped. 
realizing that the name is very sensitive to me. I just wanted to look up for the both of you. Kami ni Daddy at Kuya mo, she rephrased. I will think about it, ma. Tanging na isagot ko. Why don't you go back to painting? I know you miss it so much. She smilingly suggested. Bumaling ako sa kanya at agad din namang nagbaba ng tiyan sa kabamuntong hininga. I don't know, should I? Dahil naging guru man ako, hinahanap ko pa rin ang pagpapinta. Maybe I could try sometime. Kinabukasan, pinatawag ako ni Tito sa office niya. Tinitrain niya ngayon si Tracy for the position. Good morning po, Papa. Daddy ko pagpasok ng office niya. Tumigil siya kakasikasan ng mga folders sa table para tingin ako. Agad siyang umiti sa akin. Good morning to Iha. Opo ka muna. Sorry din makalat. Tracy is still having her training. He told me. Tumungo lang ako at umupo sa upahan sa harapan niya. Inihintay ko siyang matapos sinupin ang mga gamit niya. Nang malinis na yung table niya, meron siya nilapag na isang brown envelope. At ay lahat ito sa akin. Nagdaka ko siyang tinignan. Ano po ito pa? I asked curiously. Open it, he said. I picked the brown envelope and my eyes immediately widened in surprise with a familiar piece of paper I'm holding right now. I looked back at Papa and he gave me a faint smile. I forgot to give you that when we met again. I think you should know about it, said niya. But why? I thought I couldn't complete my sentence because I am still processing it. Diba ito ang gusto niya? Bakit hindi lang niya pinilamahan yun? It was the best decision he could have done that time because he truly loves Cassandra. Papa stood up and turned his back up against me. His two hands are on his back and is facing the tallest building he could see from his office. When you handed me the paper, I could not help but to reprimand my son for building a blind man. But I was wrong. He loves you in his own way. Like you did for him, he loves you secretly just to protect you. Mahabang sa niya sa akin. My forehead creased in confusement. Saan niya ako paprotektahan? I ask you to save him from that man, right? Pumihit siya parap sa at pataman akong tinitingnan. What about Hugo? Kuryoso kong tanong. He is the brother of Cassandra's man. Hindi lingid sa kaalaman ninyo na simula nung high school pa lamang, magkaaway ng dalawa. I search for an explanation why do he need to protect you from him. I am getting more intrigued with our conversation. It is like a path to revelation. Papa was right. Simula pa lang high school, magkaaway na sila. This was also the time when I thought he engaged to another fight with him. The night he rushed me, want to hide me but it turned out it was a false intuition. Iba kalaban si Hugo. Laging sangkot si Kuya, Riley, at Swordan. Sa gulo laban sa grapo din na Hugo. It was like a gang fight. I could still remember that they are always have bruises coming home. Akala ko nga matatapos na makikipag-graduate kami, pero lalong tumindi na at nadala pa hanggang ngayon pala. It was his idea to be to you, my son. They own the Montreal. He owns and knows that he loves Cassandra that time. So I wanted to trap him to loveless marriage. But believe me, when I say my son loves you more than he loves Cassandra, kaya pala kapag nasa office kami, lagi may kagalit siyang kausap sa telepono. Hugo is threatening him to hurt you. Paliwanag niya. Natutub ko ang bibig ko sa narinig impormasyon kay Papa. He has used rage to my son for taking Cassandra from him. My son protected you by showing animosity. That way, if the time comes when he will choose you well, wellness over him, it will be a lighter for you to run away from him. Mas pinili niyang kamuhian mo siya para hindi ka mabiktima at mabigat ang umalis. Para akong binuhusan ng mainit at tubig. Tears are now streaming down my face. Something tugging my heart while looking back how I ponder my anger towards him. I am too engrossed with my own anger that I even hide his daughter from him. I forgot to look at the other side of the story. I forgot to flip the page. Instead, I stayed on the chapter. I forgot to know better, to ask him why and why not. Sa aming dalawa ako nagkamali. Lumapit sa akin si Papa at pinunasan niyang aking mga luha. The reason why he would not bear to sign your marriage contract because it's also hard for him to do that. I am saying this not just to do some skits but I'm telling you this because if my son was still here, he also wanted you to know how much he loves you. Sa bang dahilan ng aksidente niya? Sinisinok-sinok kong tanong sa kanya. It's still under investigation pero malakas ang kutub kong oo. Tumalim ang mata niya habang sinasabi niya iyon. Ramdam ko ang galit sa mata and I couldn't blame him. Pagkatapos sa office si Papa, nagpagan muna ako ng diadala. I wanted to breathe for a moment. Gusto ko makapag-isip-isip muna, sandali. I took a seat in one of the benches right in front of this vast sea here at Baywalk Central. The wind blew and the waves moved back to the shore. I took a moment of silence to breathe out while looking up at the sun setting down at the end of horizon. Simula dati pa, lulubog man ang araw at magkakaroon ulit ng bagong umaga. Namulat pa rin ako na siya ang mahal ko. 
Siya lang ang lalaki makakapagpapatipok ng puso ko. Siya lamang ang gusto ko maging ama ng anak ko. Siya lang hanggang sa dulo ng buhay ko. Jordan, please, come home, baby. I softly cried. I don't care if anyone will see me crying, but I wanted to say it. I wanted to say my pee even if it's too impossible. Miss, may nagpapabigay po sa inyo. Huwag na daw po kayong umiyak. Napatigil ako sa drama ko sa maliit na boses. Sumingot muna ako bago nagkangat ng tingin sa bata nagsalita. Kulot noo ko siyang tiringnan. May dalang isang basket na may lamang mga bulaklak. Bumaba ang tingin ko sa iniaabot niya sa akin. Naiiyak ko siyang tinaasan ng tingin pabalik sa mukha niya. She looks so innocent. Sino nagpapabigay? I asked her wiping the residue of my tears on my face. Eh, hindi ko po kilala. Basta sa amin niya, abot ko daw po sa inyo para hindi na kayo umiyak. Magiging happy daw po kayo sa paborito niyong ice cream. Pati din lang po ang baby ninyo. She said and looked down on my tummy. Lumakas ang kabog ng dibdib ko. Sabay ng laki ang aking mga mata. Marahas kong nilingaling nga ang paligid para hangilapin ang taong sa larin. Dalaki ba o babae ang nag-ubot sa'yo nito? I eagerly asked the kid. My heart are trembling in nervousness. Dalaki po, wag daw po kayo mag-alala, sabi niya po. It is safe to eat. Medyo natawa pa ako sa pagrelipit ng dila niya sa pag-alala ng tamang salitang inihabinan sa kanya. Nilapag niyang ice cream sa kanang lakad palayo sa akin. Mas tumindi pa ang paglakas ng tibok ng puso ko. This sounds ridiculous but I'm a fool. A fool that hopes for something impossible. Sandali! Tawag ko ulit sa bata. Napalingon siya sa akin. Magkano lahat ng bulaklak mo? Tanong ko. Nagulat pa siya sa tanong ko pero agad lumiwanag ang mga mata niya. 500 po lahat? Nahihiya niya pang sabi. Sige, bibilhin ko. Sabi ko sa kanya at pagkatapos kumuha ko ng pera sa wallet ko at iniabot sa kanya. Maraming salamat po ate. Tama nga po sabi ni kuya, mabait ka po at maganda. Sabi niya sabay takbo palayo sa akin. She left me dumbfounded at what she said. Nababaling ako ulit sa ice cream cone sa tabi ko. My favorite flavor of cornetto. Matcha. I bit my lower lip and I felt like salivating. I pick it up and open it. I am still confused of who is that mystery man. Bakit na alam na buntis ako? Luminga ako ulit sa baligid. Pero wala namang taong pwede kong pagkalamanan na nabigay nito. When I lick on the ice cream, my tears drip down again. When I was bullied, he would always give me an ice cream with this flavor to lift up my spirit. Am I in my dream? I hope so because I really want to see him. Baby, you want to see your daddy? I don't know what to feel about the invitation Cassandra gave me when we coincidentally bumped into each other yesterday. I am happy to see you again, Leigh, and sorry for what happened in the past. Hingi niya ng tawad. She is still a beautiful Cassandra I have known before. The woman Jordan fell in love with. If we are still in the past, I would instantly feel insecure how Jordan saw something in here that I haven't. But now that I have stream in my life, it changes my perspective. What matters to me right now is what my daughter would look at me. I am sure that I'm the most beautiful woman in my daughter's eyes. And that was enough to melt all insecurities I have to other people, especially to the woman her father loved the most aside from his sister and mother. You don't owe me an apology. Wala kang kasalanan sa akin. Hindi dapat sa akin kundi sa kanya. I said, pertaining to Jordan. He loves you and you take it for granted. I don't know your reason why you did that, but at least before he died, you acknowledge your mistake to him. He deserves it more than anything. I emphasized. Nagkasagutan at nagkasakitan man kami sa mga salitang binitawa namin noon. Dahil lang sa bugso ng galit namin kaya wala siyang kasalanan sa akin. No, I did, Lay. Believe me. I did a lot of things I regretted and you were right. I took for granted Jordan's love for me and did you know why? I cheated. She intriguingly looked at me. Because I found the love I deserved from Floyd, not from Jordan. Tragic, right? Gumilid siya at nagpunas ng pisngi as she sarcastically scoffed at her own statement. My forehead creased with what she said. Anong pinagsasabi niya? I saw it with my own two eyes na hindi minsan nagkulang si Jordan ng pagmamahal niya sa kanya. Do not distort the truth, Cass. Hindi siya nagkulang sa pagmamahal niya sa iyo. Medyo napataas yung boses ko at di rin maiwasa mag-init ang gilid ng mata ko dahil sa sinabi niya. Ayoko lang isumbat sa kanya mga pinagdaanan kong pababali wala ni Jordan sa akin dahil nasira kong relasyon nila. I still remember Jordan muttered her name after we had done that thing. Ako ang kasiping pero hindi ako ang ramdam. Ako ang kahalikan pero iba ang nasa isip. Ako ang kaharap pero iba ang hanap. So tell me, nagkulang ba siya doon? I am not justifying my mistakes, Lay. That was what you all thought about na mahal na mahal ako ni Jordan but sorry to burst your bubble but he wasn't. Oo, mahal niya ako pero hindi buo. He is all my first so don't you think I did not love him too? I did, Lay. Sobra. Her voice broke due to her sudden outburst. She swallowed hard. 
calming herself. You know what's more funny? He is thinking of you while we're having intimately. So you think he really loves me? Madaing hinanakit niya. Nandaki ang mata ko sa gulad. Papaano? He did the same thing when we did it too. Hindi ako makapaniwala tigat sa lahat. Hindi ko maproseso ng maayos sa mga narinig mula sa kanya. Ikaw laging naman ang usapan namin, Lay. Akala ko nung una it was just sisterly adoration but it goes as our main topic every day. Ginawa ka na namin ulam araw-araw. He would always tell me, si Lay, alam mo, ganito, ganyan. Hangos niya. Halos umusok ang ilong niya sa pagdaramdam. Hanggang ngayon naguguluhan ako dahil tuwing nagkakasama kami. Wala siya ibang ginawa kundi pamukha sa akin ng pagkawalang halaga ko sa kanya. Let's stop this, Cassandra. Magkakasakitan ng tayo. It was on the past and Jordan is gone now. Let him rest. Marahang wika ko. Sabay pa kaming napabuntong hininga. Who we are today is because of what we have done in the past. We learned from our mistakes and I think we need to move on now with our lives. Pagbalik-balik na rin ko ba ng mundo? Hindi ko na may babalik ang buhay na nawala. 